नमो बुद्धा है सो वॉट आई डू इज दैट आई कंटिन्यू विद द मिडल डिस्कोर्स इज सेवेंटी सिक्स द पार्ट वन इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश्ड यू कैन चेक आउट पार्ट वन वेयर आई हैव डिस्कस सो बेसिकली दिस डिस्कोर्स टॉक्स अबाउट टू थिंग्स फोर काइंड फोर वेज टू नेगेट दैट नेगेट स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ दैट इज कवर्ड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड देन देर इज फोर काइंड ऑफ अनरिलायबल स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ which venerable anand explains to sandika that we'll cover in this particular uh, uh, video right so uh, skanda asks uh, sandika sandika asks that what are the four kinds of uh, uh, unreliable spiritual life so anand venerable anand explains first is sandika take a certain teacher who claims to be all knowing and all seeing to know and see everything without exception uh, saying that knowledge and vision are constantly present in me while walking standing now what they do is that they enter a empty house and they get, don't get any alms food they enter a, a dog bites them they encounter a wild elephant a wild horse wild cow they ask the name and clan of a woman or man they ask the name and path of a village or town and when you ask that why is this that means you claim to be all knowing and all seeing then how come you enter into a kind of empty house when you know that there will be no alms food there there will be no one living there when you know that a dog can bite you why do you go near the dog and when it is asked to them then basically they they get into the fatalistic mode that you know i had to enter that empty house that's why i entered i had to get no arms food i had to get bitten by a dog right so it's like wrong no you claim something that you are an all knowing all seeing person buddha never claimed himself to be all knowing all seeing at all times there was a jain ascetic uh, mahavira who claimed this and buddha is kind of you know he refuted this in another discourse also that uh, this this claim is wrong because if you make that claim then it has to be you have to live through that claim right so so this is again it is coming out in a sensible person reflects on this matter and says the teacher makes the claim but they answer it in such a way this this spiritual life is unreliable that this way of a spiritual life where you claim to be all knowing and all seeing but then when you actually enter into situations you then become a fatalistic when you are asked to you know give a, a reason for this so that is like this creates confusion in the student's mind so that is the first four kinds first of the four kinds of unreliable spiritual life second take another teacher who is an oral transmitter who takes oral transmission to be the, so basically basically the teacher is not a fully realized teacher like the buddha was he was he is a teacher who has taken a transmission from somewhere else a oral transmission now that oral he takes that oral transmission to be the truth now that oral transmission may be corrupted in the whole lineage and and then he takes it to be true and he he just passes on to the other person they teach by oral transmission by the lineage of the testament by canonical authority but when a teacher takes oral transmission to be the truth some of that is well learned some poorly learned and some true and some other way and this is where i also want to make it very clear that when we are discussing these canonical teachings the pali canon the teachings of this pali canon there may be definitely some places where there are errors there are someone some who has inserted some so we are not saying anywhere that this we don't rely per se on this this pali canon like to be the truth basically what we rely on is the buddha's teachings on the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path what these uh, pali teachings what they do is that they give a context you know if they clarify a particular thing from different angles however there is always we have to leave that scope that a particular teaching may not be 100 the the particular uh, the the dis- writing may not be 100% right because it again it has been written and there may be some form of you know uh, corruption that has may, that may have come and that is not only for the pali canon or any i will say that is for any scripture or any teaching right because you don't know who have read them buddha was a fully fully enlightened uh, being buddha showed us the path right and uh, yes definitely we have to trust the buddha dhamma and sangha to start on our journey and make a some bit of progress but what really will make a difference in our life is when we meditate we practice the noble eightfold path we generate the the energy of compassion right mindfulness in us and act from that energy and that will bring bring the change and then we will have certain insights into like the insight of impermanence and all once we have that then there is no need for 
readings and you know more and more dharma talks and dharma readings and scriptures and pali canon and everything right but till the time we achieve that we will have to study these scriptures and believe up with some corruption that may have come even in buddha's pali canon right okay so so here again oral transmitter who, who takes oral transmission to be the truth right here in buddha's teachings we don't take oral trans buddha has not got a transmission from someone he has realized through his own insight and given the knowledge right so uh, so the sensible person reflects that you know this is something has left somewhere so he doesn't he gets disappointed third way of unreliable spiritual life is teacher who relies on logic and inquiry they teach what they have worked out by logic so in the second case it was basically the person was just trusting that the oral tr- communication was the truth transmission was the truth now here the person the teacher is like relying on the logic expressing their own perspective but when a teacher relies on logic some of that is well reasoned some po- because the even we talk about logic and reasoning everything you cannot explain through logic something you can explain very well something you cannot explain very well so again that is a third like kind of unreliable spiritual life fourth any teacher who is dull and stupid because of that whenever they are asked a question right so again people and i see lot of teachers and uh, who become lot of like teachers and when deep questions are asked they they don't have an answer for that and they don't even say that they don't have an answer for this right that's the problem so what what they say is they resort to word verbal flip flops and endless flip flops i don't say it like this i don't say it like this i don't say it's otherwise i don't say it's not so i don't all these kind of verbal flip flops they do so that is again a fourth kind of uh, Uh, kind of uh, what i will say is wrong on spiritual unlabeled spiritual life then he asked sakand asked that uh, master um, in, it's incredible master ananda how these four kinds of unlabeled spiritual life have been explained by the buddha but master ananda what would a teacher say and explain so that a sensible person practice such a spiritual path and one practicing it they would complete the system of so basically he is asking what is the right spiritual path so now uh, 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 venerable ananda is explaining here that uh, sandhaka when a realized person who arises in the world perfected fully awakened buddha accomplished in knowledge and conduct holy know of the world supreme guide for those who wish to train he he gives up five hindrances corruptions of heart that weaken wisdom he being secluded from sensual pleasures secluded from unskillful qualities enters and remains in the first absorption now a sensible per- person would at the best of his ability lead a spiritual life under a teacher who receives such a high that means he has uh, d- eliminated his defilement he sits in the first absorption then second third fourth absorption he realizes the three knowledges what are the three knowledges recollection of the past lives then uh, extend towards knowledge and death of rebirth of sentient beings knowledge of ending of these three knowledges the person would have realized and he would have been fully fully he has cleared his all defilements that person the the sensible person should study under him so that is basically what he is describing is the buddha what the buddha did he meditated uh, insecurely and he got the first second third fourth absorption and he got the three knowledges and he realized full ending of all the defilements became a full arihant there is no more rebirth for me he realized right so training under that person that fully realized being then there is question number 3 so first question was uh, he so basically two things ananda has answered first was uh, uh, four ways that negate spiritual life second was four kinds of unreliable spiritual life third now he is here he is uh, uh, sandhaka is asking a question there are mendicant uh, who is perfected defilements have been totally ended and who has completed the spiritual journey can they still enjoy sensual pleasures so venerable ananda answers this question that a person who is a mendicant who is perfectly who is freed and enlightened cannot transgress in five respects that means they cannot do a transgression uh, they cannot take the life of a living creature cannot take something with an intentions to steal cannot have sex cannot tell a deliberate lie or store goods for their own enjoyment that they use as a that means they don't accumulate things right so a mendicant who is perfected will not do any of these things right okay 
then he says uh, question number four is that master ananda when a mendicant is perfected would the knowledge and vision of their defilements are ended would the knowledge and vision that their defilements are ending be con constantly and continually present to them while walking standing sleeping waking so here uh, ananda is giving him a simile to he ananda is giving a simile to uh, uh, sandaka he says suppose there was a person whose hands and feet have been amputated would they be aware that their hands and feet have been amputated constantly so sandaka said no only when they would they, their mind would go in that direction they would be so similarly uh, ananda said when a mendicant is perfectly perfected the knowledge and vision that their defilements are ended is not constantly present to them while walking standing rather they are aware of it only when they checked it then question number 5 sakandar asked how many emancipators are there in the means how many people have been liberated you know emancipated from the teaching so venerable ananda says there are not just 100 emancipators or 2 or 3 or 4 or 500 but many more than that right so uh Sand sandaka was very much pleased he said it's incredible that there is no glorifying that you don't like glorify your own teaching and put others teaching down the dhamma is taught in his own in its own field it means you talk, teach the dhamma in your own field right you don't put other people down and there are so many eman emancipators like people arhans who are recognized then he says about ajivika ascetics that uh, ajivika ascetics those sons of dead sons glorify themselves and put others down and they only recognize three emancipators nanda vachcha kesi sankika and uh, bamboo bamboo staff ascetic gosala they only recognize these three right okay so basically then towards the end what happened is he says to other like he had like 500 people with him and he says go uh, go to buddha uh, the spiritual life the true spiritual life has to be lived under buddha and i it's now at at my where i am right now in this life it's not easy for me to give up possessions honor or popularity so and this is how that wanderer sandaka sent his all assembly of 500 people to live the spiritual life under the buddha right so wonderful very good discourse uh, and it clarifies a lot of things for us and let us take it as a renewal to commit ourselves to the path of the buddha the teaching that we are in and let's feel so blessed that we are in this teaching uh, hope this video was helpful the link to the uh, discourse is there in the description do read this discourse it's a bit longish discourse um do share your comments and insights in the comment section namo buddhaya namo